Ring of Fire, new warning, expert predicts which restless volcanoes active, of course, could explode the upcoming year. Volcanologists predicted which restless volcanoes on the Ring of Fire could erupt in 2020. Rachel Russell expressed UK reports. We know the Ring of Fire is along the tectonic Pacific plate and the horseshoe-shaped ring is filled with the world's highest number of volcanoes along with 90% of the Earth's earthquakes and 75% of volcanic eruptions. The ring is 25,000 miles long, located in the basin of the Pacific Ocean. Professor of Geophysics and Climate Hazards at UCL, Bill McGuire, warned concerning this ring of fire. He said it's so unpredictable, there is no way to predict when something will strike there. Instead, he listed volcanoes that are currently restless or maybe in the early stages of bigger eruptions. These include Kadovar in Papua New Guinea, Ibu, Dukono, and Sinabang in Indonesia, Talika in Nicaragua, Kapaho on Chile and Argentina border, Sabancaya in Peru, and Yasir in Vanuatu. Maguire also said that trying to decide which ring of fire volcanoes will erupt next is a bit like trying to pick the winning numbers in a lottery. But no volcano eruptions without warning signs that we can detect if we are looking. So now we know that the recent White Island volcano of the North Island of New Zealand had an uptick in uh, small earthquakes. They, didn't, they, did ha they had no idea it was going to erupt. And he erupted from what they understand because of the uh, influx of water into the crater and that superheated water had to let out and uh, there was a hydrothermal steam explosion and that's what caused the uh, deadly explosion there. He said now for magma to reach the surface it has to break the rock which causes small earthquakes that can be detected of course using seismometers. He says it also needs to make space for itself which causes the ground surface to swell and this can be detected using GPS and other methods. Volcanoes that show these early signs are said to be restless. Okay, well, we've got signs like that on the West Coast as well. We've got signs of that in Yellowstone as well. Okay, but he's not going into that. He's going into the ring of fire. Now, this restlessness may end up in an eruption, he says, but sometimes a volcano will return to its slumber, of course, without any eruptions. McGuire also explained it's also not easy to predict when volcanoes will erupt because seismic observations will only give rough forecasts days or weeks in advance. He said for most volcanoes it's not possible to say if they will erupt this year, although it would be reasonably safe bet to say the volcanoes that erupt almost all the time, such as Mount Etna or Hawaii's Kilauea, will likely do something. And one worth watching is, of course, Mount Vesuvius in Italy, which has not erupted for more than 60 years and has been the source of recent small earthquakes, so that we have to be careful of. Others that have been restless recently include Cambre Vieja on the Canary Island of La Palma. We know that all of those islands, the Canary Islands are all, each one of them, a volcanic island. Um, also, Penchon Petoria in Chile and San Bacaya in Peru. After its partial collapse just before Christmas, Anak Krakatau, Krakatau may start building itself up again. And New Zealand, of course, as we know, on December 9th had the uh, White Island uh, volcanic explosion, the hydrothermal explosion, and that's not far from the Tapau supervolcano. It's uh, about 130 miles um, south of the North Island supervolcano of New Zealand. So that's pretty close. Now, the, the, um, they're very wary about uh, having tourists approach that area because uh, of any impending super, uh, any new eruption. They have also canceled cruise ships that, are, that were going to the North Island. As we know, it's a very hot tourist spot, so a lot of cruise ships have canceled their, their, uh, tr their journeys there. Now the volcano um, was being visited by, this White Island volcano was being visited by 47 people at the time of this event. 
Dr. Sarah Brown, Senior Research Associate in Volcanology at University of Bristol, says that dormant volcanoes are the most dangerous volcanoes as there is no warning for people who are living nearby. She says we can't say which Ring of Fire volcano will erupt next, but it's called the Ring of Fire for a reason. There are always volcanoes erupting here. Many have regular activity that the local populations have learned to live with. Others have been dormant for a long time, and these may be the ones dangerous, most dangerous if people living near them may be least prepared to deal with an eruption. Of course, efforts are made to monitor as many volcanoes as possible to allow forecasts of activity and respond to developing volcanic emergencies. One such dormant volcano, uh, actually what they thought was an extinct volcano, was on the Kanchaka Peninsula in Russia. Uh, it, from what I, uh, a video that we made about this a couple of months back, the, uh, they didn't even have this volcano on their volcano listing because they believed that, okay, it's just dormant, it's uh, finished, it's, uh, there's nothing to be done, why should we be even referring to it? Well, when they take a look, took a look at it, it was filled with magma, to their surprise, and uh, they had to scurry to uh, inform people to be uh, ready for uh, an imminent eruption of that volcano. So even though it was dormant and extinct, it could still fill up. Because you never know how these magma chambers, these corridors, are uh, traveling to refill certain uh, volcanic uh, chambers again. Okay, so I'll leave links below for you for this on Express UK. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.